This is something we don't often get to talk about on the show, that big masculinity. But we don't, I don't often have uh, four dudes on the show that we can talk about this with. So we're going to dive into a discussion with the bro laws and Colin and Justin and explore topics like building community, providing support for each other, and rethinking masculinity uh, for the modern age, the time we're in now. So, Dave and Joey, you have a podcast. What's your podcast called? The Real Dad Podcast. Oh, RDP, <laughs> is it? That's so, on your podcast, you've been chatting about what it means to be a dad and how people are sort of looking at masculinity a bit different now than they did in the past. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so our, one of our last episodes, there was uh, a new song that came out from Dax and uh, Darius Rucker. Okay. And it's called um, How to Be a Man or something around those yeah. lines. But it really, the song conflicted me a lot in mm. that there's a lot in the song that that I identify with, but there's a lot that I'm working to want to change around the world of what it means to be a man mm -hmm. and what it is means to be masculine or whatever. Yeah. Um, Give me a sense of what the things that you might, you feel like you need to walk away from are. Well, I, I feel like I live a very, it's not that I want to walk away from as yeah. much as like the hurt that I see in the world right now uh -huh. and the hurt that I see in men. So it talks a lot about within the song, like the struggles that we go through as men, whether it's being the provider, that you have to do it all on your own and that you have to bear this burden and you're not allowed to feel. Mm -hmm. And that's something that what I want to do and what we do within our podcast is try to break that down and share our feelings joey's been going doing therapy and we talk about that on the podcast and it's just like men feel so burdened that you have to do it all on your own and we want to break that shell of you don't you don't have to do this on your own and it doesn't have to generationally continue that line like let's yeah. stop that and involve a community around yourself where you can be vulnerable to share and to have other people speak into your life. Mm. That's right. Yeah, we looked it up backstage and masculinity, the definition is society's expectation of what it is to be a man. Huh. And I think that's something that's been blown up over the past couple of decades and it's had to. Yes. Uh, because it was just stuck in this, there's only one way to be a man. There's only one way to be a woman. There's only one way to be a person. Yes. It's like, no, there's a million, billion different ways to be an individual. Mm -hmm. So it's learning how to be accepting of yourself and accept that version of me, a man that I am, and be mm -hmm. able to share that with the world uh, without trying to be held down by their expectations. Mm. That is sure so you put cool. a label on something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I think that's the problem. I mean, that's my issue with contemporary society. That there's a label for everything. And I think, you know what, just do you. Mm -hmm. right. Just do you, we're all different. You know, how can you actually take a word like masculinity and apply it to so, so many people? Mm -hmm. It's going to mean different things to different people. I think it's about you finding your truth, you know, and not being kind of like, I don't know, corralled into a field where you feel that you have to tick certain boxes to right. be a man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and especially like being parents as well. You know, you, there's, there's uh, two moms, two dads. You know, parenting has changed totally. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and society's changed totally. And I think we just have to be much much more accepting of other people, you know, it, for, for their plus points and their negative points. No one's perfect, you know. Yeah. And I think as soon as you put a label on things, you automatically put pressure on yourself because you're thinking, okay, do I comply to that? Do people think I'm masculine enough? Right, I'm yes. a builder. Am I supposed to do certain things? You know, that's in your head. Let them worry about you. What people think about you is not your business. But it's nice to yeah. think that it's in their head, Colin, but it's, it's clearly not in their head because you talked about the things that you're dealing with and people's expectations of you. I think we're pretty lucky, Colin, because you and I have never, ever had to deal with any oppression. I really feel that. Mm. We've kind of championed our own way through life. Um, our existence has been designed by us, and we're the people that we are. And it doesn't matter what I've got in between my legs. You know, I'm a man, and I'm a 100% man. I'm completely and utterly respecting of somebody who considers their sexuality to be more fluid. Why shouldn't they? Do you know, I want to I engage in a world where everybody can be the very best version of themselves. Yeah. Um, and you said, Colin, there are very many different types of division within our genders these days. And as much as I love love the world in which I live. I also get frustrated when I see people, lovely gentlemen like you guys, talking about the struggle. And we haven't had that struggle. And sometimes I wish I'd had more of it, mm. because then I could relate to it more, perhaps. But we've, we've spent such a lovely time backstage with you boys chatting between segments today. And you're, you're modern men. 
you're champions for other men, whichever version of manliness they find themselves within. It's a complicated world, you know. Do you imagine being 20 now? <laughs> you know, obviously, I'm 30 now. So I'm <laughs> I know, you're just 30. I mean, That's how it. are you navigating your 30s? Exactly. And how, um, how old's the other one? That's great. I want to say that I just want to give you props for saying that you haven't had to deal with a lot of these issues. We I think it's difficult for people to actually Admit own that. Yeah. that. That's okay yeah. if you yeah. haven't right had to deal you. with it. And that's, and that's okay. Yeah. What's, what's important is that you hold space for other people 100%. to go through that journey and Always. recognize that their lived experiences Always. might include struggle yeah, and yeah, might yeah. Inclu include challenges. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, you know, I, I really feel so terrible for men quite often when it comes to this burden of being the ones that can never show fear the ones that have to be the providers. I don't feel like that's good for anyone. Right. I don't feel like that's good for anyone that is in a relationship together. Yeah. I remember Kat and Nat saying, you know, a lot of people look at us and they think what we do is silly. We had to wear the weight of our hus husbands being the sole income providers. Do you know how guilty you feel as the other partner in that relationship? Yeah. You feel like you've got to do so much to live up to the fact that they are providing. It's not working for either of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it does work for some families. It doesn't work for a lot of families. And I don't feel like the burden should be on anyone's shoulders. So it's about opening up those conversations. And sharing. And sharing yeah. and, and, and sort of, um, I think, trailblazing a new path for oh. what it can mean yeah. um, to be a man. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, your situation going out east. Mm. I know you say you haven't been through um, a lot of challenges, but you, you went through challenges as business owners yeah. um, and also a culture shift. There's got to be a culture shift going from a big city to a small town. Uh, there, there is, you know, and obviously, you know, you're in a beautiful city like Toronto, which is truly multicultural. Yeah. You know, a wonderful cultural mosaic where everyone's tiles fit into a bigger picture. Yeah. And I always like to think about this city. And then you go to a tiny, tiny village of 700 people in the extreme East Coast and you think, okay, you know, how are people going to react to us? Yeah. You know, and it's just one of those weird things that you shouldn't have in your mind where you think, okay, you know, have they met a gay couple before? What are they going to say? How are they going to feel about it? You know what? It kind of re 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 it really reinforced <laughs> what we think. It, you don't have to ask for permission. Just be your best you. Yeah. You know, and don't think, okay, I'm not going to not talk to these people. Go and integrate with people. Bring them into your society and you become part of theirs. And I think that was the thing for us. I think we're always really open doors, you know, so if somebody knocks on our door and if they've got a bottle of rum or whatever, they can come in. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you think that <laughs> level of confidence helps you in that circumstance? Because I think some people who are wearing like a mask of what are they going to say back uh -huh. to me? Yeah. <laughs> but if you're worried about how somebody's going to react, then you're almost anticipating yeah. them reacting that. Yeah. But where you guys you're coming at it from a sense of like this is who I am. The it's the word, curiosity and yeah. the openness, yeah. the which is great. The key word is, uh, I think, conversation. We were always, as you said, Colin, we were always open doors policy. Right. And if there was something that somebody wanted to know about our lifestyle, then we'll happily talk about our lifestyle because our mm. lifestyle is just the Colin and Justin way. And when we got down to that beautiful little town, Lewisburg, we had to navigate, or we thought we'd have to navigate through lots of different kind of conversations. We didn't, because mm. those people came to us without agenda. We arrived mm. in their town without agenda, other than to take right. a formerly shuttered hotel yeah. and reinvent it for the betterment of the community and altruistically as well. I mean, for the betterment of everybody, for our business and for the community. And it's been the perfect meeting of minds. Right. They have opened their doors to us and they've allowed us to open our doors to them and it's been joyous. It's yeah. been one of the best things that we've ever done going down there. Nice. I feel like the link between both these stories though is this idea of um, all of us being interdependent. Mm. So I think the old school idea of masculinity is that every man is an island. Right. You do it yourself, you get it done, you put your head down and you get it done. You found a community out there, you opened your arms mm. to them, they opened their arms they to you. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And you're creating a community where men can be really real about yeah. who they are in this moment in, in, in time. Yeah. So um, congratulations to all four Cheers. of you.